The world is at a tipping point. World leaders can't get along. World powers are always on opposing sides. And World War III is just a red button away. The United States can smell trouble in the air and is committing huge resources of the largest economy in the world to build laser weapons that can burn through metal like paper to destroy whatever weapon makes the mistake of flying into the continental United States. After decades of ceaseless work, laser weapons finally make their way through TV screens into reality. And their most likely target is none other than Chinese mind-blowing technology that continues to threaten American dominance. Chinese Mind-Blowing Technologies China, the superpower on the Asian continent, is what the US was just a few years ago, and it continues to grow at a breathtaking pace by building powerful technologies of the future. Chinese hypersonic missiles, sixth-generation fighter jets, and laser weapons are all in workshops around the country taking shape. In fact, their hypersonic missiles are already the closest thing to perfect hypersonic missiles in the world today. They can carry conventional and nuclear warheads at speeds that break through the barriers of time. They are without doubt the most unstoppable missiles on the planet today. Some of these missiles are the DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile with a hypersonic glide vehicle and a thousand-mile range. The YJ-21, a Mach 6 to Mach 10 flying missile with a max range of 930 miles that's on its way to becoming the world's first ship-based hypersonic missile. And then there's the DF-27, the latest addition to China's hypersonic missile arsenal with a maximum range between 3,000 to 5,000 miles, meaning that it can strike any target in East or Southeast Asia and large parts of the Pacific where the U.S. could be positioned in defending Taiwan against China. There's a whole lot to say about hypersonic missiles in general that they deserve a video of their own, so watch out for the next video on the channel. With sixth-generation fighter jets, China is one of only a handful of countries that have dared take on such a task. Dr. Wang Haifeng, chief designer of the Chinese defense contractor Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, announced that China had begun pre-research on sixth-generation aircraft in January 2019 and predicted that the program would come to fruition by 2035. Similarly to other countries building sixth-generation aircraft, the next-generation fighter will build on fifth-generation technology that has been perfected over the years. For China, this fifth-generation testbed is the J-20. Packed with a world of capabilities, the J-20 is China's most capable fighter jet to date. The capabilities of the fighter will be upgraded multiple times over and then integrated into the country's sixth-generation fighter. Then there are the laser weapons that could be fitted on this fighter. Again, China is one of only a handful of countries developing such weapons, and they've been quite novel with it too. Recently, Chinese scientists reported that they had finally developed a cooling system that enables high-energy lasers to stay powered up without getting as hot as the sun. If China is able to build laser weapons with a power output high enough and a size portable enough to be fitted on fighter jets, this groundbreaking cooling system could allow for some truly infinite firing. Some truly infinite destruction. The laser weapons could therefore be the most powerful non-nuclear weapon on Chinese jets. And not just because of an infinite magazine, but also because of the insane benefits that come with how lasers work. Lasers are a form of light energy. The invisible energy in their radiation, once high enough and focused, can impact a target from miles away and at the speed of light. This means a laser moves at a speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second, the fastest thing in the universe. As a result, no drone, no mortar, and no fighter can outrun the certain destruction promised by high-energy laser weapons. Lasers are immune to challenges faced by kinetic weapons such as wind and gravity. Therefore, the weapon, without the need to expend energy on these external factors, operates efficiently and infinitely too. A laser weapon can fire constantly for as long as it is connected to a power source, such as a fighter's engine, if it has a cooling system that prevents it from boiling itself up. And because laser weapons require nothing but power to operate, 
they're quite cheap to use. Of course, the use of each laser weapon would depend on the amount of power available on the fighter. Lower power lasers could detonate smaller missiles or blind sensors, while higher powered lasers can burn through larger missiles and fighter jets to take them out of the sky. All of these benefits and capabilities contribute to why world powers have their eyes set on these weapons. And while China is making some moves in the right direction, it is still American laser weapons that currently dominate the space. American Laser Weapons The United States has been working on laser weapons for the longest and is by far the closest to enjoying the pros that come with fighter jet installed laser weapons. However, despite all the pros in the world, laser weapons have the con of being complex, delicate weapons, and so far no country has fielded an actual working laser weapon on fighter jets. Such airborne laser weapons must not only be durable and reliable, but also be capable of standing up to the rigors of high-performance flight. It also requires the ability to generate and store tremendous amounts of electricity. And even if that is achieved, the laser beams themselves degrade in strength as they pass through the atmosphere. In fact, if targets fly into the clouds, laser shots may be too weak to take them out, which is a pretty easy kryptonite for the weapon. To address all of these, the US put its best hands and brains to the task. Every major American weapons manufacturer, Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, has been contracted to develop powerful and compact laser systems that can be deployed on aircraft. Promising results were coming in from as far back as 2002 with the groundbreaking YAL-1A airborne laser. Mounted on a modified Boeing 747-400F, the YAL-1A was designed to shoot down tactical ballistic missiles during their powered boost flight phase. More recently, there has been the Tactical Airborne Laser System project with Lockheed Martin that aims to mount a laser weapon on a fighter jet in 2023. Then there is the more headline-making Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD for short. SHIELD is being developed by Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon Technologies all working together. SHIELD is a laser weapon whose contract was issued in 2017 for development by three of the world's prominent defense contractors. The goal is to design, develop, and deliver to the Air Force a laser weapon that can be fitted on fighter jets. Northrop Grumman would deliver the weapon's beam control system. Boeing would deliver the pod subsystem that mounts other components from Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to the aircraft's underside. And Lockheed Martin would deliver the laser itself. This laser is known as LANCE, meaning Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. Lockheed Martin received $26.3 million in funding from the Air Force for LANCE. The company's specialization in laser weapon development for the last 40 years, particularly with essential advancements such as precision pointing and control, line of sight stabilization, and adaptive optics, made them the perfect pick to develop the most decisive component of the shield laser weapon. They hit the ground running, announcing on July 11, 2022 that they had secretly delivered Lance to the Air Force five months prior, in February 2022. The company also announced that Lance in many ways leverages technology building blocks from internal research and development projects, including the Army's Robust Electric Laser Initiative, or RELI, program. This implies that Lance could be a 60,000-watt class laser weapon or a scaled-up version of it. According to Lockheed Martin executive Tyler Griffin, Lance is the smallest, lightest, high-energy laser of its power class that the company has ever built. At this stage, it's uncertain what list of aircraft Lance is intended to equip. Lockheed Martin has, however, released concept art that shows the pod being wielded by an F-16 fighter jet, hinting the fighter is a likely candidate. Another likely candidate is America's sixth-generation fighter under development in the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, or NGAD program for short. Thanks to the fighter's super high power output, it just might be the prime candidate to wield shield. Further proof is that both Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman, two companies working on shield, have released concept artwork of the sixth generation fighter. And in the case of the Northrop Grumman artwork, the fighter was using a laser shot to take out an airborne threat. 
Although the concept art from Lockheed Martin doesn't show a similar laser shot, it does share enough similarities with the art from Rothrop Grumman to indicate that the artworks from both companies simply focus on different things, but indeed feature the same fighter with the same capabilities. From a stealthy design to advanced internal weapons and everything in between. Airborne laser weapons could be the end of dogfights, of barrages of kinetic weapons, and of the rivalry going on between the US and China as one eventually gaps the other. So although the weapons aren't ready yet, once they are, they will change aerial warfare forever. To say cheers to that, the US and China want you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.